Welcome back to another video. So on today's video, I will be grooming my golden doodle, Oakley. <laughs> I posted two TikToks on our account, one of Milo getting groomed and the other one of Oakley getting groomed. And Oakley's video actually did really good. So I had a lot of questions of what do I do? How do I do certain things? What do I use? And TikTok is not enough to put everything out there. So I'm making a whole YouTube video dedicated specifically to how I groom. So I'm not a professional. I'm self-taught. I learned watching YouTube videos, TikTok videos. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. Everybody was just asking questions. So I'm going to show how I do things. I know there's groomers out there that are probably like, oh, that's not how you do this. This is not how you do this, but this is how I do it. This is how we save ourselves 150 bucks. So the first step that I do is brush them out. So I'm going to be brushing Oakley out before I shower him. So some of the products that I use are this Bio Silk. It's a detangling spray. I spray it all over his coat before I start brushing. I also use this pet brush. It's, a, it's from the brand Wet. It's a 3-in-1 detangling conditioner. And three of the brushes that I use is this... I don't know how to say this. It's Chris Christensen. And I also use this poodle brush. And I use this like stainless steel comb. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna have Oakley up here. I use a regular table. People were asking me if I use a grooming table. No, I use a table from Costco that we got. I also have a mat on the floor so it's comfortable for me because my back be hurting after this. It's also from Costco. I'm gonna spray him with the detangling spray and I'm gonna be brushing his curls out with the big brush and the smaller brush and then I run through it with this um, stainless steel brush everything I'm mentioning in this video and every single thing I'm using is going to be linked in my Amazon storefront the link to our Amazon storefront is gonna be linked in the description down below if you're interested in anything I will be using go check that out okay so now that I have Oakley on here on the table I'm gonna remove his collar <laughs> I don't know why he likes his collar so much so like I said, I will be spraying him first with this detangling spray. He's not the biggest fan of it. Actually, he's behaving. He does this thing like, <laughs> I don't know why. Spray a generous amount all over, especially like in the head area and like under his ears, sorry. So now I'm going to start brushing him. It sounds like it hurts, but. <laughs> I don't know if it hurts. I don't think it hurts. Okay, so then I'm gonna be brushing his coat. And um, one thing I learned that helps you move like the hair up and you brush down to detangle everything. Like piece by piece. So usually after I finish like one area, then I'll take this stainless steel comb and I will brush over it. And if the comb glides through like no problem, and that's how you know that I've detangled his coat. So I'm just gonna repeat this whole process all over him to prep him for his shower. Once he's all brushed out and I can run the comb through his hair, he is now ready for his shower. So I will be showing the shampoo and the detangling conditioner that I use and how I prep it. So the brand I use for shampoo and conditioner, it's called Bark to Basics. This is it right here. It has coconut. And then I use the same brand, Bark to Basics, this blueberry d matte multi-purpose conditioner it's a detangler moisturizer and a leave-in conditioner so i use these three bottles i fill them about to this much with product and the rest is going to be warm water this is how much product i use before filling the rest of the bottles up with water we shampoo twice just so we can get all the dirt out because they collect a lot of particles and dust and stuff in their coats when we do use the conditioner we let it sit for 10 minutes all right so oka is going to be getting a shower and we will show you the rest of the steps once he's out Oka is all done with his shower and he was just dried a rough dry I have to finish drying him so I'm gonna be using my handy dandy blow dryer I'm gonna be blow drying him while I'm brushing him
he probably needed a break or something because he just jumped off the table. I'm gonna let him air dry a little bit more. It's just his paws that need the most drying, so I will pick back up when I am brushing him before his hair cut. All right, so now that he's all dry, I will begin to brush him all over again just to get rid of the curls so everything's nice and poofy. Now I'm gonna run my comb all over. Now I'm gonna be using my Andis, Andis nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna be using these clippers. They're gonna be linked in my bio. I'm actually gonna start with a guard number four. It's a quarter inch. And then if I still wanna go shorter, then I'll go shorter. I usually start at the top of the head and then just make my way all the way down. You should make sure that He's not matted, so I brush him twice just to make sure that the clippers can run in smoothly. I'm just gonna keep going just like this all over his back, throughout his back, all the way to his butt. And when I get to his butt, I kind of like scoop up so I go straight and I just scoop at his butt. So then I'm gonna finish all the top part. So I did this section here, so I'm still missing this half, but when I get to this point, I just start making downward strokes. That's the way like his hair grows, and that's what I find it makes it easier, just because their hair goes this way, this way, this way. Once I get to this point, after I finish grooming it, I will take my slick brush, and I will brush all the hair up, so that way I can go over it again. And you see how it's like uneven in some places? This helps me get it completely even. And I always put my fingers like this so that I can know like, if, if I want it shorter, then I can. But usually like once it's like this, I think that's a good length for him. So just this section that I trimmed here is all of this hair here. Well, usually when we finish like the whole haircut, I swear we can make like another dog out of this. <laughs> After I went over, like I mentioned, this is like what came out of it. So still some hair came out and it's like nice and even now. It's like all the same length, nice and smooth and buttery. So now I'm going to get into this bottom half. Um, a lot of people did say on TikTok that he's very well behaved. And I will say he's well behaved, but he does give me a hard time sometimes. So like if I'm trying to go here, he'll try to move his head this way or he tries to sit and it just makes it harder because his hair is going to be uneven but overall he is a really good boy see how like even and smooth this looks so this is his, how long his hair was pretty long so now i'm gonna do the bottom half and then we'll get going to this side right yoko berry so like i mentioned i make downward strokes so that's what i'm going to start doing so i just go in swoop swoop and i just keep repeating it and then usually when I get to this part, I lift his ear up and then I bring it all the way from the top, bring it all the way down. When I make my way down, then I will brush up like I brushed his hair and I will repeat the process. It's just a matter of like brushing it and going over it just because it's uneven. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break from his body and I'm gonna start with his head just to kind of start seeing the end result. I'm gonna brush his head out again. I'm gonna use the smaller brush. Make sure everything's nice and poofed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same guard. I'm just gonna be like grazing on top, not close to like his skull, just to kind of like trim it down so I don't have this like scissor too much. Just because I already know I want this shorter because this is pretty long. And then I'll finish shaping it with the scissors. So like I said, they don't always cooperate. I also try to do like around here, the around the snout.
Okay, so then I'm gonna start using the scissors to round his head, trim more, because this needs to be trimmed a lot more. Oh, he farted. In your face. Okay, so this is the result from Oakley's haircut. He's so tired. This is basically what he ends up looking like. I like to cut it all short because it grows back, so there's no point in me leaving it longer length. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.